come the perpendicular distance from the point to the line 4 negative uh, 0 negative 2 and lambda t 4 0 so very quickly let me just write up uh, the line All right this is r equals to 4 0 negative 2 plus uh, lambda 3 4 0 right where uh, lambda is a real number and then a uh, point here is 3 uh, sorry 3 then negative one okay so very quickly if you were to think about very quickly how we go about doing this right so this is the point this is q like right, three negative two negative one and then it's a line line down r equals to four zero negative two plus uh, lambda three four zero so what we're going to do is we need to find this uh, perpendicular distance all right so there are a lot of ways which we can go about doing this uh, number one we one method is that I just want you all to recall that uh, something from the past in vectors part one, right? If we have a free vector A and a direction vector B, right, and we want to find so for the vector of projection, right, the projection vector of A onto B, all right, then uh, mainly is uh, actually we are talking about supposed you to shine a light here, right, and then this is the vector of projection. Alright, so this uh, vector pro uh, projection vector of it, the projection vector of uh, A going to be this the one in green, right? It's just equals to uh, A dot product with B hat and B hat. Okay, so this is what we can do. Alright, so first one. Alright, so what we can do is uh, number one, let's try to imagine that so first we can we go back to our question all right we can see maybe what we do is we use this a, a here all right and remember our a can be this point four negative two zero sorry four zero uh, negative two all right from here we can uh, have a direction vector so this can be so called the let's say we call this a right? this a q can be one vector right here one direction vector will be three four zero right we can use three four zero and then so called this can be the A in the formula, this can be the B in the formula. Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do. So first up, right? Quickly, number one, I'm gonna find the A dot B hat. Alright, so quickly uh, A AQ. Let's say this is AQ. Alright, uh, AQ will just be okay, quickly uh okay, so AQ line L right which is uh four zero negative two plus lambda three four zero right and AQ AQ will just be equals to uh Q okay bear in mind A is uh, four zero negative two right and Q is uh, three negative two negative one so AQ will just be OQ uh, minus OA. Alright, this would be uh, 3 negative 2 negative 1 minus 4 0 negative 2 to give me negative 1 negative 2 1. Right. So very quickly here we know that the direction vector here is just a negative 1, negative 2, 1. Okay. okay so yeah. And over here, the direction vector here, this is just a 3, 4, 0. So very quickly, if you want to find the projection of AQ onto the line, so I uh, suppose you want to find this yellow portion, right? Okay, and very quickly, we can find, maybe let's say we call this N, for example, let's call this N, alright? Okay, so AN, right? Maybe let N be the point of the foot of perpendicular. Q to L okay and then very quickly if you want to find a n let me just read out the right hand side okay so uh, Q a n is just equals to a Q 
dot product with the unit vector of 340 right obvious okay or 340 let's say maybe just call it m hat right uh, this is to adjust be a q which is one negative one two one dot product with the unit vector of 340 so unit vector this is like one over five the magnitude of 340 is actually uh, one over five right okay so 340 right Okay, so this will, this will eventually give us like 11 over 5. This means that this length over here, this is 11 over 5 units. Alright, what have you established so far? Okay, very quickly, if A, Q, N, right? This is N, this is A, this is Q. You have already found that the magnitude of A, N, which is a projection, length of projection of uh, A, Q onto A, N, this is actually 11 over 5 units. Right, how about AQ? You know that AQ is equals to uh, here, right? AQ is equals to negative one, negative two, and one. If you want to find the length of AQ, uh, that's not impossible, right? So very easily you can see it. Uh, this is just what one plus two, so it's just uh, square root six. Okay, so this is uh, just square root six units. So you think about it. Actually, we are just finding. But you know I'm getting towards a Pythagoras theorem, okay? Alright, so I have this. I have this. Alright, can I find QN? Yes, right. So you can see uh by Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Uh, QN is just equal to the square root of uh, six. So for square root six square minus uh, 11 over 5 square all right so this will just give you square root 29 simplify yourself units all right so this is one of the method of finding the perpendicular distance from q to the line uh, so this is the line that we are finding all right this is the line that we are finding all right this is one method so i'm just going to call this uh, method one so there are actually many methods to go about doing this uh, so next up, I'll actually uh, show you another method. So very quickly, if you recall, right? Okay, another method to go about doing is we can also recall that, uh, you know, if we have our vectors in this way, this is A, this is B, right? So the perpendicular distance, right? This can actually be the length of A times B hat, right? So easily, we can go to a question. Say so method two, method two, Right, is that we take a times b so if this is uh, a n a sorry a uh, q we know that a q is um three no, negative one negative two and one right this is n this is our line our direction vector here is uh, three four zero all right then this q n over here this would just be nothing but negative 1, negative 2, 1 multiplied by the magnitude or unit vector of 3, 4, 0. Right? So this will just be the answer for us. And very quickly, you have a good habit of taking out, factorizing out a scalar. Negative 1, negative 2, 1 times vector product 3, 4, 0. And again, this will give you 1 over 5. Beautiful vector negative 4. 3, 2, alright, and simplify this, you get square root 29 over 5 units x well. Okay, that's for method 2. Okay, so method 2 is that we are using this is A, this is B, and this answer here is just A times B hat. That's the method 2 that we are using. Alright, method 3. Okay, method 3, if you recall, right the projection vector right we went back go back back to the question the formulas that we have learned if this is a and this is b right all right and then uh this portion here this portion here the vector of pro i mean the projection vector of a on to b projection vector of a on to b but right? this is actually a dot b hat b hat right this is what we learned right so very quickly, what would this length, this uh, vector be? 
this vector would be nothing but it's called a subtract with a dot b hat b hat right so this is the vector that we have i mean this is a vector right so next how do we find the length all you need to do is just take the magnitude of this all right and also comes up to us to find our a n a n right would just be equal to dot product of a q q a n right a q dot product with m hat right which is just 1 over 5 negative 1 negative 2 1 so actually this is a method 3 right dot product with 3 4 0 right m hat right again what another 1 over 5 of the magnitude of 3 4 0 so this part is the m hat this part is m hat this part is your aq this part is also the m hat okay and i leave you to simplify this all right i leave you to simplify this eventually you can uh, get 11 over 25 negative 3 negative 4 0 all right then very quickly what is qn qn will just be an minus aq which is uh 11 over 25 negative 3 negative 4 0 minus negative 4 negative 2 1 it will give you 1 over 25 negative 8 6 negative 25 okay and very quickly if i were to find the magnitude of qn so already here right qn this is just equals to very simple you can solve it by yourself and you will get 20, 25 over 5 units. This is method 3, so you can use any of the method to help you.